I'm going to show you how to double your views overnight with half the work. I've grown my channel in a very specific niche using this content system and this content framework. Right now, you're working really hard to grow your channel, but you're struggling to get views. You are not alone. Less than 10% of channels actually get to 1,000 subscribers. That's not a lot, but you can grow your channel with less effort than you're currently doing. What you're missing is a system for content, not just streamlining the production of content creation, but picking the right ideas to pursue as well. Without a system, you'll waste years never growing in subscribers. And with every day having more competition on YouTube, you'll want to implement these changes as soon as possible. So this is my Notion template that I use for content creation and it's built around the create process. Picking a good video concept is the difference between getting thousands of views and barely getting 1000. Both videos are good, but one has a good concept. So what we want to do is quickly add our concepts. So we just scroll down and we add them here to ideas. So for this idea today, let's say we have a vegan cooking channel. Let's go with vegan desserts for Saturday night. There's an idea, the ultimate vegan breakfast food, how to make vegan cheese at home. So we've captured our concepts in here. We can always tweak these titles. They don't really matter. What we just want here is the concept. And that is the C part of create. But how do we know which one of these that we should spend time on? Well, for me, I have about 200 ideas, if not more at this stage now. So it's very difficult for me to know, okay, which one of these should I actually spend time on? So there are three metrics that I like looking at, which is search volume, competition, and timeliness. Now to find out search volume, there are a bunch of different tools out there. Some are free as well. VidIQ is a really good one. So we could see how much do people search vegan desserts for Saturday nights. So let's say that this is a low search volume. Ultimate vegan breakfast food. Let's say that this is high. Obviously you won't be guessing you would look at this research. Then we look at the competition. Vegan desserts for Saturday night. Let's say just hypothetically, this has high competition. A lot of people have done a video on that, even though it's a low volume. Then the ultimate vegan breakfast food, let's just say it's low and let's say this one is medium just to make it different. Then here we have the timeliness. So is this a trend or not? Let's say making vegan bacon was a trend on TikTok for a while. In timeliness here, what we could do is say that this is trending. This will tell me that this is something I should be focusing on right now. So right now it might be a high search volume on YouTube and the competition might be high. But if this is a trending topic, then I know that. Now these three here, these all sound like they are timeless. And if they're out, then obviously it's probably not worth spending your time on. And if we click on the auto rank feature here, it actually automatically organizes these for me. So I can see in what order should I be making these. So I know that making vegan bacon, because it's trending, I should probably jump on this right now, because if it's no longer trending, it's probably not worth spending my time on. Then after that, we have the ultimate vegan breakfast food. That's because this is timeless, high search volume and low competition. And these three here are really good to know for smaller channels, because you don't have that established audience yet. My journal video concept had a lot of search and my cover letter generator did not, to say the least. So I really shouldn't have skipped this stage, which is the ranking part of create. But how are we going to make money from this? Just relying on AdSense is quite risky. So let's do this. Let's start adding these into our content calendar. We can see it for this week. We can see a sponsor view. We can see all content on a full month as well. So if I click on today, so today I should be doing the making vegan bacon one, and then I can drag these just in here as well or I can click here on open and select the date. So publish date, 15th, there we go. And it will appear up here as you can see. So I have my videos here one per week. Now what I'm going to do here is click on making vegan bacon, for example. Right now, if you're at the starting stage, we don't need to worry about the sponsorship stuff, but we do want to look at the CTA. Now CTA stands for call to action. This is saying, what are we going to ask the audience to do in this video? So for a vegan cooking channel, for example, we might ask them to download our ebook about vegan recipes or we have a course on vegan for beginners. By the way, a fantastic CTA is to do digital products because you can make it once and sell it an infinite amount of times. I have a bundle, by the way, with this Notion template and a full guide on selling digital products. The bundle gives you a very nice discount as well. Check it out, link in the description. But then here we'll say the vegan recipe ebook. So I'll click that here. So this making vegan bacon, the CTA that I'm going to give in this video is for this vegan ebook. So I'll just do book icon, there we go. Now you really want to ensure that you pick the right CTA. So 
let's say the ultimate vegan breakfast food here, you pick a CTA that is completely mismatched. I'll just go on the complete opposite. Let's say you try to pitch a meat barbecue cookbook. This is not going to fit very well in this video. It is a complete mismatched CTA. And the same thing goes for sponsors once you get to that stage. You wanna make sure that it's an actual good match here. Otherwise you will have a terrible conversion rate. And that is the E part of create. But shouldn't we actually start making this content? All we've done is plan. The benefit of doing this in step four is that there is strategy before you start filming. So in Publish OS here, we have the stages. You can see we have the planning, creating, editing, and sponsor stage. So if we go up here and let's just add all of these, give them a stage. So we can see them here in the content process. And all we have to do is drag these along as they get to the next stage. So let's say I have filmed the ultimate vegan breakfast food. I can now take this to the editing stage. And as you can see, there isn't an idea stage here at the start. That's because you're going to probably have like 200 ideas. So here we have the planning, creating and editing. And if you have anything in your ideas here, random idea, what you can do here is just add this immediately from the stage of blank. So that's an idea to the planning stage. And there you go, it's been added in here, random idea. Our job is now a lot more simple. We just go in here, look at the ideas, which one of these am I ready to take to the planning stage? And then we can move these along in the process. And actually making these is the A part of create. Obviously you can skip the sponsor stage if you want and go straight into upload. If you don't have any sponsors and you don't wanna see this in here, you just click on the three dots and hide group. So we want to upload this video. Well, not yet. We want to maximize the views. Log into YouTube Studio and find out when the best time to post is. Now schedule it for that time. That is the T part of create. Look, this is a short step. You do it once and then you don't have to do it again because you know when the best time to post is. Now, can you start making the next video? Not just yet. You could triple your views if you dive into the data. So what I'm going to do here is just upload all of these just so we have some stuff to look at. Let's pretend all of them have been uploaded. We can go into the analytics here. What we could see here is all of these different posts broken down by pillar, by CTA, and by the amount of clicks the CTA got. We can also see it by channel, but we just have YouTube in this example. But this is really useful if you also have a TikTok, Instagram, X, or whatever it is. So here we could see by pillar, but none of these have pillars assigned to them. So let's call this pillar here, making fake meat. So I can click here and we have now created that content pillar. How to make vegan cheese at home. I guess that's actually kind of similar. So maybe instead of calling it fake meat, I can now just click on this and rename it immediately. So instead of making fake meat, replicating dairy slash meat products. There we go. Ultimate vegan breakfast. Breakfast food, let's just call this breakfast. And desserts, let's call this desserts. So now we have these pillars here and what you'll do here is go through your results. Is it above, average, or under? Now I've seen other people do this and write down the exact views. That is just way too much work. You're going to have to go in and change this every hour. Not worth it. You just wanna label, was it above, was it average, or was it under? So let's just say this one was above. Let's say this one was under. Let's say this one was above and this one was above, just hypothetically. So here we can now see where we should be spending our time with our channel. And this is going to triple our views. Let's say here, we can always see every time we do a dessert based thing, it results in under. So vegan chocolate dessert, hypothetically did under as well. We can see every time we do a dessert based content, it performs under our average. But every time we do replicating dairy slash meat products, it performs above. Then we know maybe this is a pillar here that we shouldn't be spending our time on. And we can do the same thing here with CTA clicks. So we can break it down by CTA. So we can write down the amount of CTA clicks. This one got 10, for example, and this one here got zero. We can see here, okay, every time I talk about my meat barbecue cookbook on my vegan channel, that performs really badly. Maybe I should be focusing more on my vegan recipe ebook. And that is the E part of create. To download, click the link in the description and choose if you want the Notion template alone or if you want the digital product creator bundle, which includes an 18,000 word guide and two hours of bonus modules on how to sell digital products products online. If you want to dive even deeper into picking good video concepts, then you can learn the poop framework by clicking on this video here. Thank you so much for watching.